Exhibit at the Minnesota History Center takes people back in time. The 1968 exhibit opens today after a five year national tour. It walks people through one of the most turbulent years in our nation's history. We got a behind the scenes look at some of the historic moments highlighted from 50 years ago. Brian, how is this exhibit organized? Well, it's organized by the year. So you walk into the uh, to January and you walk through the exhibit all the way through to December. It's a, there are 12 sections of the exhibit, 12 months of the year, and then with a couple of detours into music and television and movies. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come Why is 1968 such a significant year? A, a lot of people would call it probably the most tumultuous year in American history. Uh, that so much happened that year, so much violence and rage and chaos. Take your hands off of me unless you're going to arrest me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ultimately, what really went on was just chaos. We've got a Minnesota icon right in the middle of this display. Absolutely. We could not do an exhibit about 1968 and, and leave out Hubert Humphrey. He was one of the towering figures of the year. He wins in Chicago at that very contested, riotous Democratic National Convention in Chicago of August of 1968. The nominee is Hubert Humphrey, and he comes out of that convention pretty scarred, uh, the whole party pretty scarred by the violence of that, of that convention. This is a Huey helicopter that was used in the war, is that right? Absolutely, an actual Huey helicopter that we acquired, restored. We know its serial number, we know that it did service in Vietnam in 1968. And out of this purple haze comes some of the music from 68. 67, 68, 69 was their big, were their big hits, the big album, and then we borrowed some of his um, clothing, a leather vest and, his, and boots that he wore. Um, he was known as well for his kind of fashion sense as much as for the music. He kind of, uh, he kind of revolutionized the look of the, uh, of the rocker. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? I feel like everyone knows Mr. Rogers and lessons that he taught us yep. long ago are still valuable today. Absolutely. I mean, Mr. Rogers neighborhood. The name was the name of the show from the very get-go premieres in 1968. So we really wanted to include him in the in the exhibit. And we have uh, one of his famous sweaters knitted by his mom. All of his sweaters were knitted by his mother. Mine, won't you be my neighbor? Uh, we can always use a little more Mr. Rogers yes, in our can. life. It was funny to um, sort of see the similarities between 1968 sure. and 2017 when we were at that exhibit. Uh, political climate, yes. women marching for rights and social change. We survived it then, and we will make it through this year, too, even though it's been... Pretty they're turbulent. Yeah. yeah, they're hoping that that's, this kind of inspires people to realize that we right. can make it through. It does kind of put things in perspective when you look at how many significant events happened back to back in 1968. Mm. So if you'd like to visit the Minnesota History Center, it's open today from 10 until 5. 1968 runs through January 21st of 2019. Tickets are $12.